Genkai Primal Awakening is a hybrid between a deck builder and a TRPG. The player begins each run by selecting one of three creatures with varying attributes. The player can add some defeated enemies to their party, to a total of three at once, while also accruing cards that can be used to enhance their attributes. The gameplay loop is a lot different than what you'd expect from a Slay the Spire type game. The player still receives a certain number of cards per turn and a set amount of energy to play them. However, these cards serve an exclusively supportive function, granting defense, boosting attack power, or banking ammunition for special attacks. Independent of the cards and energy, each creature can move and attack each turn using either a standard attack or one of two specials fueled by other cards. It will take some time to get used to the system as it is such a sharp divergence from other deck builders, and I personally find it less elegant than some other hybrid games such as Nitro Kid, though it has some similar advantages, namely, much less dependence on luck compared to straightforward deck builders. If you're familiar with this style of game at all, you can guess that Genkai is a pretty unforgiving game. Healing is rare and it's hard to avoid taking damage. As with any such game, learning the little tricks, such as switching out heavily damaged creatures for fresh ones when possible, is critical to advancing through the game. All of this is based on the randomly generated single-player campaign. Genkai will eventually have more of a multiplayer focus, but the multiplayer modes weren't available when I tested the game. 